Here we go, family, a new message. My people have labored long. Your days of toil and striving are very, very soon ending. Thank you, my love, for always including me into your heart and into your home, into every thought, every decision, and every action. I thank you for remembering me and remembering that I am always with you. I see every thought. I know every motive of every heart. Thank you that I am welcome in this place. Few people truly welcome me into every aspect of their lives, for very few people know that I am the supreme judge and ruler of all. I am the supreme ruler of nations and kingdoms. I make them rise and I make them fall. Nothing exists without me. Nothing is sustained if I do not say that it is so. Many times I have spoken of the gauges that you must live by, so that you will understand the nearness of my return. Everywhere you see signs in the smallest details. I am showing you for eyes that are open to receive and hearts that are wide open. All is being fulfilled before your very eyes. Many things are changing drastically, and yes, so quickly, my child, surely the signs are all around you. Those who walk in intimacy with me, who truly find their rest in my heart, see that the great separation has taken place. And those who honor, obey, trust, and walk in my ways have been set apart from those who blatantly throw my laws and my words to the dogs and to the swine, for they do not believe. My people have labored long and hard in my fields, and I see the dedication of your hearts. I know the thoughts and the intentions and the motives of every soul that I have created, and I understand that I have a remnant, a remnant that has been purified in the fires of tribulation in order to become the perfected, glorified vessels that will serve to usher in a new kingdom, a new season. It has already begun. I am pouring forth my new wine into these new and purified vessels for the days of your toil and your striving are very, very soon coming to an end. You need not fear the terrors of the night and the evil that has been unleashed on this earth. For truly, I tell you, it will be short-lived. I will not allow the enemy, your adversary, to have much time here in this season. He already knows his days are extremely short. Much will come, yes. There is a great transition taking place. I have been speaking of this for many years now. Nothing is as it seems. Right is now wrong. Evil is now good. Does my word not say that it would be so in these last days? Does my word not teach you to watch for these signs? Truly I say to you, they are here. Come higher, my loves, and leave this world behind. All that burdens you, your cares and your worries, are of no concern to me. For you see, in me you find rest, you find peace. I am limitless, I am full abundance, and I have your tomorrows. Nothing will stop what has already been put into motion. And why would you choose it to be so anyways? For you know my design is perfect. Watch for me in everything. Watch how I move. My hand is in everything. Nothing occurs outside of me. Nothing. See me in everything, and then you will see the completion of all that has been spoken. Yahushua. I pray the blood of Jesus over this message and any and all who listen to it. Scripture, James 4 and 12. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou that judgest another? Psalms 46 and 6. The heathen raged, the kingdoms were removed. He uttered his voice, the earth melted. John 1 and 3. All things that were made by him, and without him not anything made that was made. Matthew 7 and 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Luke 5 and 37 And no man putteth new wine into old bottles, else the new wine will burst the bottles and be spilled, and the bottle shall perish. Isaiah 5 and 20 Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Isaiah 45, 18 through 20. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord and there is none else. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, Seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. 
Assemble yourselves and come, draw near together, ye that are escaped of the nations. Ye have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image, and pray unto a God that cannot save. As always, seek Jesus for discernment and confirmation. And trust not in man, but only in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. God bless you all, friends and family. I love you all, and you're in my prayers. Put on the armor of God daily, and be armored with your sword at all times. And always carry your shield of faith that will get us through anything and everything. In Jesus' name, I pray. Glory to God in the highest. Amen and amen.